What is the Gray Labyrinth? The area was first mentioned in the All the Days Ahead article where you can read on the official Slime Ranchers main website. The article mentions very briefly about the area, quoting, Further out, Beatrice Avenger will finally take her into the massive and mysterious Gray Labyrinth that blocks her progress across the further reaches of the island. And though its purpose and history remain unknown, it's clear that the key to unlocking the secrets of Rainbow Island lie beyond its walls. Now, the main key takeaway to look at this is how they word it. The key to unlocking the secrets and lie beyond its walls. It's an interesting detail. What areas of the island have walls and need a key to unlock it? The ancient ruins that spread across Rainbow Island. These ruins look very similar to the slime gates we see in the first game. Guess how to open the slime gates? Through plort or a key? Now, these gates in the sequel are much more different and does not seem that there's in a way as of yet to unlock them. Will they have importance later during the game's development? It's possible, it's possible. I would not be surprised that the Grey Labyrinth can be accessed behind any of the gates. Now, as for what this new area will be like is difficult. The only thing to go by is the name, Grey Labyrinth. My guess is that just like what the name applies, it's going to be a mix of the ancient ruins and the glass desert without colors. What I mean about without colors is going by the title, Grey. It's a type of color with a mix of black and white. Of course, you guys know that. This new area starting off will lack any color or vibrancy, a polar opposite from the rest of the island. It is your job as a player to bring the colors back to the area by solving the puzzle within the labyrinth. That's what I'm assuming. The biggest thing you ranters are wondering, will this area be available to play with the upcoming update that's set to be releasing this fall? I think not, because they could have mentioned the Grey Labyrinth in their latest article. Also, if you go back to the old article, All the Days Ahead, and read through their plans for the game, so far it is in order of what they promised. First, Powderfall Plus came out early 2023. Check. Second, during the publish of the article, it did not state when the second update will be out, but it would be a major update, bringing in new features on how we play the game, which we now know are the weather system and the gadgets. Lastly, the brief mention of the Grey Labyrinth area is vague about what the area will be like. My guess is that it will be released later this year or early next year just by the dates that each update comes out, taking about 5 to 6 months. For example, the Song of the Saber came out 5 months after the game became available on Steam. The fall update is about to be released 6 months after the release of Song of the Saber. So it's safe to say that every 6 months we may get another update. That's my observation. That may not be correct. Lastly, I'm curious on where the tangled and dervish will be located. In the article, No Rain or Slime, it mentions bringing back either tangled or dervish. Exciting that sounds, where exactly would be the main area that these slimes will be found? Makes sense it would be the Great Labyrinth, but going by the order from the previous article, that may not be possible, unless these slimes will be roaming around depending on the weather, or the area will be released with the upcoming full update having both slimes available for the player. That's also possible, but it's really hard to know. What do you rather think? Do you think the Great Labyrinth will be out during the fall season? Let me know down below. Like always, stay weekly.